The development of new treatments for kidney disease is critical for slowing disease progression, enhancing patient outcomes, and preventing kidney failure. Nephrologist Dr. Roberto Collasso with Dallas Nephrology Associates is here to share some of the therapeutic options now available. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, Ari. Thank so you for having me you. here. All right, so what types of treatments have there been in the past for patients with chronic kidney disease? So the majority of patients with chronic kidney disease have diabetes, mm -hmm. and what we used to tell our patients Lifestyle modification is important, controlling the blood pressure, controlling the blood sugar. Now we have the class of medications called ACE inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers that have been used for many years. Interesting. So what are some of the new types of treatments for those that have kidney disease? So we're living very exciting times in mm -hmm. the area of nephrology because we can offer our patients new therapies. So over the last five years, we have found that there are three types of new medications that have been shown to be effective to slow the progression of kidney disease in diabetics. And that, those medications are the new class called SGL2 inhibitors or inhibitors of the glucose absorption in the kidneys. Mm -hmm. We have another type of medications called non steroidal mineral corticoid receptor antagonists. And then we have the new medications that are good for obesity, good for diabetes, but also help with uh, slowing the progression of the kidney disease and those are the GLP-1 agonists. Nice, okay, medical, I feel like everything is constantly progressing in the medical field, which is so amazing. Tell me about research, recent research actually, that has been completed regarding the benefits in treatment of other conditions related to uh, chronic kidney disease. So again, this is exciting news because we can tell our patients with heart disease mm -hmm. that they have high risk of developing kidney disease. And kidney disease have, kidney disease patients have high risk of developing cardiovascular disease. Mm -hmm. So the American Heart Association have described a new syndrome called cardiovascular kidney syndrome where we want to help the kidneys and help the heart. So health professionals who are putting our work together to help our patients to live longer, have a better quality of life, and worry about the kidneys, but also about the heart and patients with heart disease uh, that suffer with kidney disease, we can help them with these new class of medications that have dual benefits. They help the kidneys and they help the heart. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, it is so amazing. tell me, like, what types of treatments uh, can we expect in the future? Because, like I said, things are constantly evolving. So, what can we expect in the future for kidney disease? So, a lot of new therapies are coming down the pipe for patients without immune disorders, such as lupus, vasculitis, IgA mm -hmm. nephropathy. We have new medications. For patients that suffer from end-stage kidney disease, we're promoting the use of home dialysis therapies to promote better quality of life. And for those of patients that are candid for transplantation, we have new options for uh, transplant patients. Mm. We're promoting more living donation. We're exploring the area of xenotransplantation. Hopefully in the near future, we're gonna be wearing artificial devices or maybe growing kidneys in the lab. Oh, okay, look at that, I love that. Okay, so how can, because knowledge is power, so how can kidney patients learn about all of these new treatment therapies? So it's important that they see the primary care doctors, the patients, they need to care about two things. One, what's my kidney function percentage? We call that GFR. Number two, they have albumin or protein in the urine. Those are the risk factors. Uh, so the primary care doctors will refer the patients to the nephrologist and we will take it from there. All right. Well, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge this morning. Growing a kidney in a lab. I'm going to hold on to that. I can't <laughs> wait to see that. <laughs> thank you so much, doctor. Right. Appreciate right. you. Thank for more you. information on new treatment therapies for kidney disease, check out Dallas Nephrology Associates podcast. Let's talk about kidneys. To find out how to subscribe, scan the QR code on your screen. Dallas Nephrology Associates has been treating kidney patients for more than 50 years, has more than 100 healthcare providers and 32 area locations. Call 214-358-2300 or 877-654-3639 for more information. Or you can go to DNEPH, that's D-N-E-P-H.com.